Now, butchers just aren't butchers anymore. You guys value add in the butchery. Yes. Which means yes. you make some marinades. Now, this is your marinade? This is my personal marinade, this Talk one, yes. Through it. Basically, with there, we have that sweet chilli sauce. So we'll pop that one in. Yes. Beautiful. Next. Honey, clear honey. Clear honey means this, without honey, the comb in it. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, just a nice clean skin honey. Yeah, if you're gonna cook honey, it's always best to go with the clear. The comb can catch a little bit and become quite bitter. Clear honey if you're cooking over a, a pretty strong heat, which we are. Beautiful. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. So how many marinades would you guys make in the butchery? Um, we use a lot of dry marinades in the butchery, which is a really great thing because it actually holds the product rather than have the old orange in the stream as it used to be where you had a, a piece of meat with floating in marinade. Now we use a dry marinade, so um, we use a lot of those through the shops. Yep. Yeah. And this is? Ha uh, that's soy sauce soy. here. And we've got the uh, the white wine vinegar. Vinegar. And a Cajun seasoning, Cajun, Cajun spice. Cajun seasoning. Oh, oh, that smells good. I don't know Yes, oh, well, There's definitely. a nice little dry rub. So mix all those together. Yes. And how long would you marinate? Look, Mar I did, oh sorry. I always do marinade and marinate. So marinade is this, and yes. how long would you marinate your meat for? Look, minimum two hours, ideally overnight, Ben. Um, six, six hours to eight hours, or overnight, as I said, is ideal. So if you can possibly do this, you know, prepare it the day before, marinate your product ready for the next day. It just gives you a much more, more of a punch. So we have our round steaks, so we'll pop a few of those in. And then I'm gonna throw in there with that, that whole rump. Oh, I love magic, cooking rump magic. whole. We'll toss that in as well. Really, just all the changes here is cooking times. Yes, so yes. So our little steaks are gonna be cooked a little bit quicker. So if you want everything to come off at the same time, put your rump on first, give it about 10 minutes and then put your steaks on. Beautiful. We'll throw them all on together. So we can snack on the rounds and then eat the rump later. Sounds good. So that's it, mate. So you would throw that in the fridge? Yes, yep. Yeah, cover it right out of the fridge because uh, you don't want them smells to take over the fridge too much. Go and get a, make a cup of tea or something, get the milk and you get hit in the face with that, mate. It's, it never ends well. I'm not putting that in the fridge. I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to cook it right now over the coals. Too easy. What do you think, mate? Lost for words, Ben. Lost for words. Just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of this lemon oil. Top. Lamb prepared by Scotty. Scotty's marinade. You better have the first. Hey, Scotty. Well, looking forward to that. There you go, mate. Beautiful, mate. Thank you very much. I ain't cooked to perfection. Funny that. You know what you're doing, I know what I'm doing. Can't go wrong with that. Great. Can't go wrong with that. That is so good. I shouldn't act so surprised that you've actually <laughs> created something that's so yummy. That is just outstanding. We better try some of the rump as well. And it's the best thing. Yeah, always, it? always. Oh, there's gold. And even you're surprised. No. That lemon over the top is just a killer, isn't it? Mate, I'm stealing that marinade. I don't know whether it's the lamb or the marinade or the oil. I think it's the combination of all three. Definitely. You Definitely. happy? Oh, couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. Hang around, we'll polish that off. Pleasure as always, mate. <laughs>